Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, I'm making a video today for the first time in a long time. Um, today is February 14th, 2018. Um, my last video was Ju June, July, maybe. So, uh, today I'm just gonna talk about just general update stuff, I guess. So, yeah, um, I live in Denver now. Um, my last video, I believe, was right before we were moving or we were starting to make plans to move. Um, we moved in October and um, it's been great since we've been here. We love it a lot. Uh, that means I have a new job. That means my partner has a new job. Um, we have a new apartment, a new background. Um, <laughs> yeah, but it's been really good. Um, we've really liked the city so far and we miss all of our cuties uh, in Salt Lake, but a lot of people have been out to visit us, and um, we've been back, well, my partner's been back, we have a trip to go back in April, and so that's cool. My sister ha has twin babies that are like, I don't know, seven months old now, and they're amazing, and um, I'm really, really happy that we live so close and get to see them so often because it's really cool um seeing babies children grow up i don't know i'm like the youngest of my family and so i never had like nieces or nephews running around or like younger kids i, I never really connected with kids or babies um before now and so it's a different experience and it's really cool um really happy but we get to see those babies like it multiple times a week. So that's really awesome. Um, my job is going really good. And um, yeah, I mean, I, my complaint about it is I have a little bit of a commute. Um, traffic here sucks. And that's, I guess, just life living in a city. Um, so uh, I like it a lot. Yeah, um, I'm guess I'm not really out to anyone at work. I mean, definitely, I know that a few people know. Um, it's been underwhelming, I would say, being in a position where I'm, I guess, stealth, like, at work. Um, I, I don't necessarily love that. I don't necessarily hate that. Like, there's things, I don't know, I guess there's times and situations where, I don't know, I feel like I make more sense as a person as a whole a picture um if you know that i'm trans but like at the same time i mean i'm i'm close with the team of people i'm with at work and like i guess i don't know i kind of want to tell them but it's just like i don't know the best i don't know the opportunity hasn't presented itself like the moment that would make sense to kind of start approaching that avenue or that topic um i've told a uh, other people who I work with um, that I'm trans, but not like people that I work directly in my office with. Um, I, again, it's like I kind of want to, I guess, but at the same time, it's like I'm, I don't need to. I, I'm waiting for a reason to, I guess. I don't know. Um, but it's weird because it is a good reminder for me, like, being gendered male or being, like, just seen as a cis dude, like, reinforce, you know, like, when I experience that, it does feel weird still. I, I, I'm not necessarily comfortable with that, and it, it is still kind of jarring, or, like, I flinch when people say certain, like, male-associated words with me. Um, try that again so as I was saying yeah I it's like a reminder that like no I am pretty comfortable identifying how I identify like you know not on a binary identity I don't I still don't feel like dude things are super fitting for me I guess um but it's fine like it doesn't feel offensive to be gendered male um it's just like the same way that being gendered female was like not great i feel like that's how 
being gendered male still feels sometimes. Um, I think it feels better than being gendered female, though. I think in general, I still fall more on like the masculine side of things, I guess. Let's see, other trans-related things in my life right now? I don't know. Um, I still haven't found a new hormone doctor since we moved. That's not because that is really that difficult. I've just been busy. Um, and I've just been dragging my feet at making a bunch of doctor appointments that I need to make. Um, but, uh, I'll be doing that soon. And, um, I do know I have some recommendations of places and things like that, so it should be fine to do that. I just need to do it. Um, I don't know. It's like I don't love the weekly reminder of doing my shots still. Like, I feel like I have to be confronted with, like, my, my situation being dependent on testosterone, like, every week, and that bums me out. Um, I don't know, I kind of have complicated feels about that that I haven't really explored all the way yet, but yeah, I don't know. Um, still doing my shot every week, and um, I think my mustache is coming in more every day, and my beard is still like just some stuff on my chin, and sometimes some stuff over here, but that's about it. <laughs> Um, my hair on my head, I'm still kind of growing out, um, but kind of with a mullet or, uh, like, I don't know if this counts as a Kentucky waterfall or what the mullet hair situation is, but I've been liking having longer hair and I've been, like, pinning it up or pull it, tying it up, um, and things like that, and I feel like it looks cute, and I like having a little more hair to do stuff with. Um, so I think I've been kind of expressing myself that way at work. Um, I do still have a, my nose ring in at work, and that's not been an issue, and I'm really happy about that. I don't know why, but I do feel like having piercings in my face makes me feel more like me, I guess. I don't know. I can't really explain it, but um, I feel like that does help me claim my body as my own in a kind of corporate or uh, at least like business wear workplace. <laughs> um, but everyone I work with is like really chill and it's not like stifling like that at all. Um, and everyone seems pretty like liberal or alternative or whatever with their own style and beliefs and stuff too and so I feel like work has been really easy to just slide into um, and feel comfortable and okay and it didn't take long I feel like to adjust so I've been really grateful for that. Um, I don't know overall I think that in Denver we're kind of landing on our feet and doing okay and maybe it's too early to say that but think we're doing all right and I think we're happy and gonna make it here just fine and that's cool and empowering um that we were able to you know kind of just pick up and move and do our own thing by ourselves and we're doing it um so it's been good yeah um I don't know what else to talk about today I just like I didn't really have anything specific I wanted to say I just I keep not making videos and I talk about making videos all the time and not doing it because I'm never like sold on the idea and I'm like, you just need to make a video. So here I am. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you guys are doing good and I hope that this was an okay update. If you have any questions about things, hit me up down there and I will answer in the comments and um, yeah, happy Valentine's Day, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.